What's going on, guys? Me, Bruce Singer, back from the LEGO video, and today I am unboxing Sim 5 325 The Mandalorians N1 Starfire, which retails for $60 currently until it retires. And this was released back in 2022 for $60. And you get four minifigures, you get Mando, uh, I believe he comes with his printed head, uh, Grogu, same Grogu that we've always gotten. Uh, Pelimato and a BD droid. So this set was actually pretty revolutionary when it released because it was the first ever BD droid that we have ever gotten. And it was also one of the few N1 Starfires that we've gotten. And we haven't gotten an N1 Starfire when this set released in a few years. I believe the last one was in 2015. So, seven years later, we get another one. It's good. It was good. But it was also kind of disappointing because it wasn't the original prequel version. It was the new Mandalorian version. So, this set had quite a bit of mixed feedback. But, yeah, I'm just going to unbox it. Uh, I ended up getting this for about $30 on BrickLink, brand new, sealed in box, and yeah, I don't know how I was able to get that deal, but I did, so go and check your BrickLink, because you might find one for less than $60, shipping for me was about $5, uh, so yeah, this set for... $35, I'd say that that's a perfect price. I think LEGO should have sold it at that price, but they didn't. They sold it at $60, so whatever. But anyway, let's just get into it. It has 412 pieces and some good play features. Surprisingly, there's only three stickers in this set, so sticker haters are going to hate this set just a little bit less. So yeah, let's just get into it. Alright guys, so here's the finished build. I really like it. You get four main figures, like I said in the intro. Pelimato. Good detailed minifigure. Back printing and a double-sided head. And a hairpiece, which... Uh, I'm not sure if we've seen this before. It looks familiar, but I'm not sure if we've gotten this hairpiece yet before this set came out. You have Din Djarin, Mando. Without a cape, he has his jetpack, printed arms, and the old Darksaber mold, which is just a lightsaber. And then the Pedro Pascal Mando head, and this was also before the new helmet. So just a standard Beskar Mando. And then Grogu, the exact same Grogu that we've gotten a million times by now. And then we get this exclusive BD droid. This is not BD-1. This is a different BD droid. So yeah, he has a little anti-stud on the back. And very, very good printing. I'm surprised that they were able to print it this accurately, this small. But yeah, nothing on him can move. Uh, unless you, you know, break it and then move it, but nothing on him can move. And as for the ship, it's a good ship. 
in my opinion. Move these guys over here. So, let's start off at the back. You have the tail, and this will half plastic, half rubber piece. You can kind of see where it transitions into rubber. And then down here you have the single engine. And then up here you have Grogu's little pod. You can stick him in there. Close it up. And I did see somebody modify it to where you could put an astromech droid in here. But I'm not sure. I don't remember how to do that. Uh, but it does require the removal of some pieces and addition of some pieces. And then up here you have Mando's cockpit. He can just sit in there. I'm not sure if he can do it with his jetpack or not, but let's try it. And no, you have to remove the jetpack. Remove the jetpack. That's also why they didn't include a cape with this minifigure. And just close it up, like so. You have a nice little seat in there, and it has a little control panel, similar to the one that we saw in the Phantom Menace. Just close them up right there. And then up here, you have some storage. If I can get this open. Some storage right there. You can just store Mando's jetpack, the Darksaber, although you would have to disassemble it. Let's just do that. Disassemble the Darksaber, put Mando's jetpack in there. And then we can close it right back up. Like so. Come on. Like so. And then up here, you have a spring load shooter. See if I can get it to focus. There we go. Just like so. And then to reload it, you put this all the way up. Come to the front of the ship right here. Focus. There you go, and just load it up like so. And then you put this back down until you feel some resistance, and then you're ready to fire again. So it is a pretty good design in my opinion, and I think that this is a good play feature for the kids and adult collectors because for the people who like, whoa, lost it. For the people who like spring load shooters, this one is actually really, really fun. Uh, at first, I thought there were two down here, and this thing like somehow rotated, and it fired off like left one, right one. But now that I have the set in hand, I know that it does not do that. Just make sure that that's down all the way. Yep. And moving up here, you have these two, which are supposed to be cannons. Uh, I'm not sure why they look like this, but they are supposed to be cannons in-universe. Moving on to the engines, these are just engines that are essentially opened up. And they have good details, uh, some very good part usages, such as the megaphone piece and the flower pieces. Over here, it's basically the same thing, and you have a little zip line hook right there. And also, this set pairs really nicely with 75312 Boba Fett Starship, but for $110, that's up to you whether you want to buy both of them or not, and you also do get two Mandos, so... Do with that information what you wish, I guess. So yeah, overall, this is a good set. Is it worth the $50? That's really up to you. Oh, sorry for the camera movement. That's really up to you, whether it's worth the $50 or not. Because on one hand, you are getting two exclusive minifigures. Maybe three. Uh, yeah, I think three exclusive minifigures. And a N1 Starfighter. 
for $60, it's all right. Uh, I am glad that I got it for $35. That was a really good deal. So I advise you to go check BrickLink right now after you're done watching this video. Because who knows, you might find one for $20. So I wish you the best of luck in finding that. And that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. May the force be with you. Bye.